As AI and LLMs reshape the tech landscape, many developers wonder about their future role. Rather than viewing AI as a threat, forward-thinking developers are discovering how these tools can enhance their capabilities and secure their position in the industry. From automating routine tasks to solving complex problems more efficiently, AI is becoming an invaluable ally in the developer's toolkit. The most successful developers today are those who are learning to leverage AI tools effectively, making themselves valuable by combining human creativity with AI-powered productivity. By mastering these tools, developers can focus on higher level problem solving and innovation, skills that are increasingly high in demand. The software development landscape has changed rapidly. Before ChatGPT, developers would often turn to Google, YouTube, and Stack Overflow to help solve complex coding problems. Today, Stack Overflow questions and usage rates are at record lows and steadily declining year after year. This is because developers are turning to AI to research write and debug their code instead of filtering through multiple answers online that may not be relevant to their specific situation. In this video, we'll explore how you can gain a competitive edge by incorporating AI development tools into your workflow, showing you how to use them to boost your productivity as a developer. Let's examine some of the most popular AI tools and the key features driving the shift in developer behavior. The first on our list is Cursor. Cursor is a powerful code editor built with AI features at its core. It's essentially a fork of VS Code that incorporates different LLMs to offer intelligent code completion, debugging assistance, and chat-based help without leaving your editor. Its standout features include the ability to explain complex code, generate implementations from comments, and refactor existing code with natural language instructions. Next, we have GitHub Copilot. GitHub Copilot integrates with your editor, and just like Cursor, it allows you to select your preferred AI agent to help with tasks. These agents include Cloud 3.5, which shines in understanding and refining large code bases, GPT 4.0, which is fast and great for general coding assistance, and GPT 4.1, offering more depth for complex reasoning. You can also bring in other models not available in GitHub Copilot by connecting them via an API key. Copilot also includes an extensions feature that integrates external dev tools such as Docker, Sentry, or Gitbook into the Copilot chat. These tools cover key dev tasks like deployment, debugging, and docs, so integrating them streamlines your workflow. The next AI tool on our list is Claude. Anthropic has been at the forefront of AI development with their advanced AI assistant, Claude. In 2024, artifacts were introduced to Claude, which helped developers quickly prototype and build simple UIs to test their ideas. Earlier in 2025, they took it a step further by releasing Cloud Code, an agentic coding tool that lives in your terminal, has context on your code base, and helps you code faster through natural language commands. Cloud Code can help developers with code onboarding, triaging issues, and refactoring code. V0 is another popular AI dev tool by Vercel that can generate responsive UI components and full web pages from just text descriptions. Developers can provide screenshots and V0 will provide the code equivalent, imports from Figma, or choose to create landing pages or sign-up forms from just text prompts. This significantly speeds up UI development, allowing front-end developers to quickly prototype and iterate on designs without having to write CSS from scratch. Similar to V0, Bolt, a product from StackBlitz, allows developers to create and deploy web applications by converting text written in natural language into working web apps that can launch directly from your browser. It comes with out-of-the-box integration with Superbase, making it ideal for full-stack web development. You can get up to speed with quick prompts from the homepage or start a blank app with your favorite stack. Finally, we have ChatGPT. ChatGPT paved the way for numerous AI agents we see today, such as Gemini, Perplexity, and DeepSeek. Although ChatGPT wasn't originally built for developers, its Canvas feature introduces an intuitive interface for building and previewing projects directly in the chat. For example, if we ask ChatGPT to create a simple login form, it will generate the code in seconds right in the canvas. By clicking the preview button in the top right corner, we can instantly see a live version of our login interface. Now that we've discussed these AI tools, let's take a look at how you as a developer can take advantage of these tools in your development workflow. With AI, developers can now describe functionality in natural language and have working code prototypes generated within seconds. This allows teams to quickly test concepts, gather feedback, and refine their solution before committing to full-scale development. To demonstrate both prototyping capabilities, 
Let's prompt it to build a simple Nox.js landing page to sell the classic Viewmastery socks using the attached image. We will also ask it to make the page copy sound modern and fun. Bose begins by analyzing the prompt and summarizing its understanding of the request. It then outlines the key features and design elements it plans to include on the page. Next, Bolt enters development mode, installing dependencies and configuring Tailwind and Noxt in our project. It generates a base CSS file to style the project, then creates a basic app.view file and imports the components it's about to build. Bolt then proceeds to build out the components one by one, starting with the header component, the hero component, the feature section, the product showcase section, the testimonial section, the pricing section, the FAQ section, a call to action section, and finally, the footer component. These elements are standard building blocks for any high converting landing page. Once it's done, Bolt responds with a message summarizing the actions it just completed, then automatically starts the server to preview the project directly in the browser. As we explore the project, it's clear that Bolt did a solid job generating a clean landing page with modern playful copy to help sell our socks. From the hero section and feature highlights to the product showcase, testimonials, pricing, FAQ, call to action, and a well-structured footer. It covers everything you'd expect in a solid landing page. Overall, generating all of this from a plain language prompt is both impressive and time-saving. If you look at the left side of the screen, Bolt alerts us to a problem in the code. Clicking show problem reveals a hydration mismatch. One of the great things about Bolt is that it gives you the option to either fix the issue or discuss it further. Let's ask Bolt to fix it. It begins by identifying the components causing the mismatch and updates them one by one, starting with the app.view file, then the CTA section, and finally the footer component. Once the fix is complete, Bolt explains exactly what changes it made to resolve the issue. Developers tend to spend a lot of time writing repetitive code like initializing a component or creating a new function. Involving AI into your workflow can help save time and reduce the likelihood of syntax errors, allowing developers to focus on the more complex and creative parts of development. Code generation is particularly useful when building apps with a design system. Rather than manually creating each component, we can leverage AI tools to generate them automatically. For example, we can prompt Cursor to generate components for an application design system using Vue 3 with script setup and TypeScript. I also want my components to have customization options, and then I go ahead to list out the components that I wanted to generate. Just like with Bolt, Cursor carefully considers my request and repeats it back to me, explaining exactly what it's going to do. Cursor first creates the components directory, and after we click Run, Cursor will start creating each component. First, the button, then the input component, checkbox, drop down, avatar, tabs, card, and finally, the model. We can review these changes, and if we're satisfied with them, we can accept them into our code base. In the components folder, we can see that these components have successfully been created. One of the most significant ways in which AI is helping boost developer productivity is through improved debugging processes. AI tools can identify code errors more efficiently than traditional debugging methods, often identifying issues that may take developers hours to locate manually. These tools use pattern recognition to pinpoint bugs by comparing against millions of code samples and can suggest fixes based on best practices and previous solutions. Some common bugs many view developers experience involve component lifecycle problems or template rendering problems. For example, a common issue occurs when developers attempt to access DOM elements before they are mounted. Here's a user profile component that demonstrates these common errors. In our code, the show details function is called in the unmounted lifecycle hook right after the fetch user data function. This causes an issue because it attempts to access and modify the DOM element before the user data has finished loading. A straightforward solution is to share this code with an AI tool like Claude or ChatGPT and ask for help. Let's copy our code and head over to Claude. In the chat box, I describe the problem and then I paste the code we copied earlier into Claude. Claude reviews our code and immediately suggests a solution, explaining that the issue is related to both timing 
and conditional rendering. We can now copy the code generated by Claude and replace our previous code in the playground. As a result, our app works properly just as expected. While these tools we've discussed can significantly boost your productivity, getting the most out of them requires a strategic approach. Let's explore some key tips for developing an effective AI-powered workflow. Tip 1. Be specific with your prompt. These tools need as much context as possible in order to provide suitable help. It is encouraged that you over-explain. This could mean being specific with the language or framework or the coding style you want the AI to use and also what you don't want. You should never assume that the AI knows what you want. For example, you could specify in your prompt that you want solutions written in Vue 3 using the Composition API rather than the Options API. Tip 2. Give your AI a persona. You can start your prompt by asking your assistant to assume the persona of a senior software engineer. This personification makes the AI view problems from a specific expert's perspective. For example, a senior view developer with 10 years experience might provide more framework-specific advice than a general prompt. This approach can yield more nuanced technical suggestions and help filter out introductory or irrelevant information. Tip 3. Use analogies. In particular scenarios where AI may struggle to understand complex concepts, you can help ground them by relating the technical concept to something more familiar. When describing technical requirements, try comparing them to everyday scenarios. For example, you could say, create a system that works like a smart thermostat that automatically adjusts when you change the temperature setting. This is similar to how Vue's reactivity system updates the DOM when data changes. And finally, prioritize learning and fact-checking. Although AI can save time, it's crucial to understand the solution it provides if you want to become a better software developer. Don't blindly copy and paste generated code and always verify AI-generated outputs against trusted documentation. Many developers now use these AI tools as virtual coding partners to speed up their workflow and boost their productivity. Let's take a look at a typical workflow in Corsa, for example, to improve an existing app. We'll be working with the Trello clone app built by Ben Hong in the Build a Trello clone with Nox 3 course here on Vue Mastery. In this app, we can edit a task name and description, drag and drop tasks between columns, delete entire columns, edit column titles, and create new columns just like in Trello. To get started, let's explore some of Cursor's features and use them to make a few improvements to this app. The Cursor chat window is something you're going to be using a lot when working with Cursor. You can enable this window with Command I or Control I on Windows. It's very robust and allows you to do a wide range of functionalities. For example, adding context. You can use the add symbol in the chat to easily bring in information from your code base or other sources. This helps you add context by referencing things like specific lines or blocks of code, entire files from your project, contents of a specific folder, or relevant articles, documentation, and guides from outside your project. The chat window also comes with chat modes. There are two types of modes in Cursor, agent mode and ask mode. Agent mode allows Cursor to take full control of your code base and make edits to multiple files in the code base. Ask mode is a little more nuanced where we can get specific context and details about parts of our code base. We can also select what LLM to use for our responses. Cursor automatically chooses the best LLM to use for your request by default, but you can change to whatever model is available in the options. There are also more options for Cursor Pro subscribers. We can make our app feel more modern by adding dark mode. Let's go ahead and add a theme switcher to our app using the following prompt. We'll ask Cursor to please add a theme switcher icon at the top right corner of the app. The theme options should be light and dark mode. In agent mode, Cursor reads and modifies our code base to fulfill our request. We can review these changes which appear as a diff in the editor, allowing us to compare the existing code with the proposed modifications. If we're satisfied with these changes, we can click accept all. Now let's go back to our app to see the update. This looks great, but it's not quite there yet. The spacing around the theme switcher icon needs some adjustments, and the contrast between the column titles and the background could be better. So let's head back to Cursor to request these changes. We'll ask Cursor to add more spacing to our theme switcher button and also add some more contrast to the column titles and the background. 
we can see it update the theme.css file as well as the index.view file and as always it explains what it did. Let's click accept and go back to our browser to preview our changes. Now when we examine our app we can see that this looks much better. Something to remember when writing prompt is that similar to Google search results, your first prompt, no matter how specific, may not deliver exactly what you want. You often need to guide the AI through several iterations of prompt to achieve your desired results. We can apply this knowledge to improve the View Mastery Socks website, which we built earlier in the video. Remember our earlier tips about creating an effective workflow, such as giving the AI tool a persona and writing specific prompts. Well, Cursor Rules makes it easier to implement these practices. As the name implies, Cursor Rules allows you to define and enforce coding guidelines across your code base. In the chat window, click on chat settings and navigate to the rules tab to set your rules. Here you can set rules either per user or per project. For now, I'll set up a few rules for the user. These include giving my cursor assistant the persona of a JavaScript expert, along with guidelines for coding style, structure, naming conventions, syntax, formatting, and more. You can create your own custom rules just like I just did or use from a wide range of available options online from sites like cursor.directory, .cursorrules.com or this awesome cursor rules repository on GitHub. Cursor also offers inline code editing without requiring the chat window. Let's try this feature out. Currently, as we can see, our Trello clone project allows the addition of empty tasks. We want to modify this behavior to only allow tasks that have content. Since we're new to the code base, we can ask Cursor to locate the logic that handles task creation. Awesome. Now that we found out it's managed in the bodstore.ts file, let's navigate to this file and locate the add task function. By highlighting this line and hitting command K or control K on Windows, we'll activate the inline chat interface where we can ask Cursor to modify our code's current behavior to prevent adding empty tasks. Great, now we can accept this change. If we head back to our browser, we can see that simply tapping enter no longer adds empty tasks. We will now have to enter actual content before a task can be added to our board. After making our changes, we can commit them using Cursor's Git Explorer. It saves time by automatically generating commit messages. Just click on the Sparkle button and Cursor will generate a new commit message in real time. These AI tools and processes have revolutionized development as we know it. However, like any tool at our disposal, AI has its limitations. It's important to note that as your app grows more and more complex, it becomes harder to prompt the AI effectively. Also, unlike search engines, these tools aren't free indefinitely. They typically require paid subscriptions as your usage increases. Tools like Cursor, Copilot, or Windsurf have made the development process more enjoyable. What would typically take days to implement has been reduced to mere minutes. I encourage you to continue to view these tools as aids to augment your development process rather than a complete replacement. The true skill to master is knowing when to use these tools and how to combine their computational efficiency with your creative problem-solving abilities. If you'd like to get started with AI development, we have a great course here on View Mastery to help you get started located in the resources below. Thank you for watching and good luck with your future projects.